Oh man, pack one, pick one. I think I'm supposed to take this Hull Breacher. I want to take Pack Rat. It's been so long. And like Bizarre Baghdad might be legit good. I kind of wonder if pack one, pick one Bizarre Baghdad is crazy. Hey everybody. What's up, Drawly? What's up, Happy Madison? Ready Am? Rocky Poker? Cheers, everyone. Hope y'all are having a good Wednesday, Wednesday. Mine's been excellent. Got up, had a dope ass breakfast, cut up some timber, sorted some cards, and I've got Vintage Cube. I've got Vintage Cube here. Yeah, I'm gonna take the whole breach here. I think there'll be plenty of time for pack rats and bazaars and stuff as the cube goes on. Can we take Zerda and wield Basalt Monolith? You're more likely to wield the Zerda, right? Let's take Basalt Monolith and see if that happens. 13 mana Emmys here. Oh, good luck with the uh, the puppy surgery, Rocky Poker. Sorry to hear about that. Hell yeah, Drawly. God, pasta's so good. Underrated meal for all times of the day. What was I sorting? Uh, I was uh, grabbing the last cards I need for my, my legacy deck. Mm -hmm. Oh, shoot it up. Hey, natives, thanks for the 62 months. Cube. Yeah, you know what, Bard Sorin. It is indeed back, llamas. It is indeed back. I mean, take Emrakul. We might cast this fucking card. Ooh. There's some cards here, huh? There's some cards. There's a Chrome Mox and a Fractured Identity. There's a Cryptic Coat. I want a Fractured. Uh, just a Miscalc here? Sure. A little boring, but that's okay. It's okay to be boring sometimes. Praise the... <clears throat> oh my god. Praise the cube! Yeah, well done, Caleb. First try. You haven't seen Tortured Existence before? Yeah, it's a new one. It's another card that can work pretty well with, like, Squee and stuff. I think they want it for the, the self-mill strat. If we pack one, pick one, bizarre. We might have grabbed that Tortured Existence. This is indeed the first draft of the season, Paravale. And then that Master of Death would play well there, too. I think we're going to grab these Eagles. That's what I think. No draw sevens for my Breacher yet. Oh, Staff's a sweet one. You're looking for the new Spice? We uh, we kind of deviated from the new Spice because there's a pack one, pick one, whole Breacher. Yeah, the Spicy Draft would have been pack one, pick one, Bizarre here. I think there'll be plenty of time for that. Hull Breacher is just a little too fucked up. Broadside's just much better than the other cards in this pack. I think I'm gonna snag it. Maybe move into Jeskai. Hey, no worries, no worries, JRC. Good luck, um, good luck healing. Well, if we're not doing the arm wrestling contest, I think that means that we get to have Hooters delivery for tonight. Mm. Since you're forfeiting. And Bizarre coming back. LED is hot with uh, with draw sevens, but we don't have any of those. Yeah, every single card that I considered as a first pick over Hull Breacher is still here. The Bizarre, the LED, the Pack Rat. All the cards I was excited about. I'm going to take this Vantage in case we end up splashing red. Ah, uh, someone grabbed, <clears throat> grabbed my combo with the Basalt Monolith. Which is a bummer for them, because they're not going to get the Basalt Monolith. Maybe they'll get the Grim Monolith, though. Is Mother of Runes crazy here? I don't think so. Some aggro control thing. Oh, shit, what up? Hey, Fire Tank, thanks for the sub, thanks for 86 months. 
Jack Lamont thought this was a dictatorship. If someone could best me in arm wrestling, though, then they would be the new dictator. You see. Flooded Strand, Solitude, Urza, Ragavan. I think Solitude might be a more important pick than Rag Ragavan. Although Ragavan and Mother Runes are pretty sweet together. Pretty hot pairing there. Yeah, I've seen Death Creator's champion in um in a few different cubes, and it's always been kind of fucked up. I think it's gonna perform well. Hello, on color Mox. We are passing Palace Jailer for it, but you know, whatever. Just remand here. The aggro deck with counters. It's kind of looking that way, hum. Aggro control. Man, it could use some work. Probably end up cutting these. So Bone, Bone Crusher could fight Force Ragman through. Rig Giver Runes could like put, help push it through too, hum. And then a Skull Clamp here, which, which works pretty well with staff and such. I think I'm going to drop this Giver of Runes. Although Mother of Runes wield, maybe give her a wheel. Fuck it. <clears throat> Give me the cards. How close are we to a Tinker deck? We have like three, four artifacts right now. I'm gonna nab it. I'm gonna nab it just in case. Containment Priest would be fine too. Oh, Plateau. Forensic Gadget here works with the uh, Basalt Monolith. Feels like that's not what we're doing anymore though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab the, the mana. The Eagles can find the Plateau, too. It's kind of nice. Yeah, Narset, Gadgeteer, and Raptor. All solid. Oh, Shelby Vencer. Kind of looks like a Vencer deck, huh? You liked Firebolt instead of uh, Inspector, Vencer, whatever it was. Firebolt's fine. Also, nothing wrong with the White Ancestor Recall. It's also an artifact for Tinker, the Novice Inspector. Firebolt's pretty replaceable, I think. Hey, thanks, workshops. Hello? Hel is this the latest Palace Jailer you've ever seen? Should we Tinker for Kappa Cannon here? Is that, is that the play? I'm gonna grab Ulamog in case of brain freeze. Shenanigans. I'm gonna be honest, that late palace dealer has me a little aroused. Can't wait to steal somebody's creature with palace dealer and then hug it with the bombardiers and kill another thing. Hello, Fury. Fury's fucked up. I'm gonna draft that card. So our mana needs some improving. But our card quality is pretty decent. And we can maybe find Blight Steel for Tinker. Yeah, I'm going to take Athari over Jace and Inti. Man, Inti's pretty good too, though. Actually, if Palace Jailer wield, maybe this Athari can fucking wheel. Give me the Inti. Or maybe I want the Archive, hum. Eagles can tutor for the Archive. Yeah, our mana needs help. Our mana needs help with where we're at. I'm gonna dig the damn land. Inti's so fucking good though. It's really good with Ragavan. Ah, god damn it! Give me the god damn it. Mm, good. The fuck? It's like Frostedon or Bobble. Oust and Currency Convey Dame. I'll take the Oust. Hey, crime, crime. I kind of wish I had that mystical tutor. We don't have artifacts here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven ish. That's not the worst. And then Ragavan's a sometimes. We already need a cut. Oh, these are not helpful lands. 
Maybe we trim blue down to a light splash, huh? To make the mana work. Do we have no playables if we do this? We would need three more. Okay. Yeah, right, beers. And, like, you know, it'll cycle out, right? I'm excited to see if uh, the Bizarre Survival, if those cards are, like, actually good. With, like, a Gok plan and stuff in, with the mana stuff in. Oh, this helps with the mana, huh? It's a playable and it helps with the mana. I dig it. That's a really good resto with Palace Dealer and Fury here. It's a really good resto. But I think we need this Talisman, hum. I like how the blue cards we're splashing come down after the Talisman, too. Just very helpful. Hey, a Dueling. We can't get this one with Eagles, unfortunately, but it's still great, hum. There's another Island Mountain. It comes into play tapped, but, you know, still Dece. Monstrous Rage on Ragavan is kind of fucked up. I almost, I almost want to jam that. That was the Athari pack. Gotcha. The Luris is actually looking decent here. Now that we have Mishra's Bobble, I think it's solid. Could have ended up uh, doing show and tell stuff, huh? With the Ulamog and Emrakulm. This is just it, right? Just the deck? Not the best thing I've ever drafted. For white sources, we'd have four, five, six, seven, eight, which is okay. I'd prefer nine with the, you know, the couple doubles we have. I might not be able to do that, though. In red, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hot diggity. And then blue is one, two, three, four, five, six. Six blue, I think, is enough with our three blue cards. So it's like, do we want eight sources of uh, white or or of or of um or of red? Hum. I think I think I prefer one more white source, and that means uh, plains is white is nine and red is eight here. Oh, I get another land. Well, it's nine nine six hit. The birds do not get blue, unfortunately. It's like the one thing the blue the birds doesn't get. The birds gets plateau. Yeah, the mana would be a lot better if we'd ended up with um a tundra or a um Yeah, it's two double white, two double red, but we have more white early game cards and the one of the double red cards pitches and one of them can like be cast later. Is what I decided on. Leaning white, but now we ended up 9 9 anyway, so. Because I had an extra land. Maybe this card will play well with this draw, we'll see. Broadside and Fury are pretty fucked up together. I like the looks of that Luris with um, Bobble Hum. Maybe we'll get some value. Crucible. Now nah, we got both in time stretch. I've never made a play mad Robo Rocket. Hmm. 
Hell yeah, 420 blaze it. Mm, get him. I kind of want to chuck Fury at him to just like reduce the amount of cards they can draw with fast bond here. Is that aggressive? Dealing them seven damage instead of two? Feels aggressive. But like, it's the difference between them being able to draw like 10 cards with this fast bond plus horizon land combo versus five, right? Huge difference. And now tapping them is awkward. Yeah, it was like Furious Fire Blast thing. Xurinor would be the nightmare here. Hell yeah, Colton. The cube is dead. I'll hail the cube. How long was Vintage Cube actually gone for? Like two or three weeks. And now it's back for three weeks. It seems like it's going to be around like half the time, which I'm pretty stoked about, personally. It was kind of nice to have a little bit of a break from it and play some other formats. Especially with the 40k cards coming to Moto. Why could you make Fury damage the head? Uh, the Fury didn't damage the head. Broadside Bombardiers did. So Bombardiers has a lot going on. Two and a red for a 2-2 two -two with Menace Haste. So you can play an attack the first turn and then it's hard to block with the Menace, right? And then the Boast, second on the creature artifact, deals damage equal to 2 plus the uh, permanence mana value to any target. So we pitch cast the Fury, and then before we sacked the Fury, we did the boast thing, where you sack the creature, and so we dealt seven, because it's the casting cost plus two. So we could have sacked our clue token and dealt two damage, but instead we pitch cast the Fury and got seven damage. That was the big decision point of that last turn. Anything specific? There's uh, some some cool uh, shifts happening for 20 Blaze. I'm excited to see if like Hollow One and and such perform. We'll see. But yeah, some neat archetype shifts. Yeah, this is a lot of damage. It's a 2 2 double strike by itself, so it's already 4 damage. And then the backup on broadside means that's 6 damage. So that would be 10, 11 damage before I even sacked the broadside, right? And then I could sack this for another 5. So we're repping 16 damage on this turn. Not too shabby. Yeah, I like the idea of staying as aggressive as possible against this opponent. Oh, note if they get infinite life, we do have an out to it with Blightsteel. So maybe don't scoop to infinite life. Yeah, I'm just going to jam this back. Keep it aggressive. Deck feels very piratey. It's a very piratey deck, yeah. Just Sky Pirates, let's go. Infinite Life combo on the cube. The opponent almost had it. Uh, Fast Bond, Crucible, and Zern Orb can gain infinite life. Yeah, red cards printed in the last two two years. The deck, huh? Got re-added, Bremner. When they cut Twin, they said that there was going to be a cycle. They were going to do cycling archetypes. So people that have... You know, nostalgia boners for different things can, um, you know, get a chance. So not everybody that likes the draft twin can do so. Can take care of those boners, exactly, exactly. A specific version for Supreme Drafting, yeah. I would actually love to build that cube. Put in, like, three sets of power. And like Reb and Hydroblast and stuff. Put in all these like blue hosers. Put in Reb and Pyroblast, fuck it. Last night I bought some um, some John Garcia tickets. He was the um, the front man for uh, Caius. And so today I started a YouTube playlist based on him. And so like every other track is like one of his one of his projects. His solo project. Unidum. 
now Slow Burn. And then there's a Kaya's track coming up next. Pretty excited. I've seen a couple of other um, founding Kaya's members. Queens of the Stone Age. Was founded by one of them. And then I've uh, I've seen Brant Bjork live a few times. Both uh, in Stoner and in his solo group. This will be my first time seeing John Garcia. Oh, I could have snagged a land drop off of an uh, Inti Hum. Oh, I can't target the NT with its own ability now, with the Greaves on it. I actually shouldn't shouldn't have put it on anything here. You do get to choose the order of the cards on top with Sylvan. You're saying they can use the Ragavan as like a little scry? <laughs> Affinity cards in Supreme. Yeah, that could be sweet. Thoughtcast and what what? Thought Courier. That card's almost insane. I do have a whole reach in the deck. I guess I'm glad they don't have it with Leovold. Oh, shit, what up? Hey, Lord Sorrow. Thanks for the sub. Thanks for 59 months. We haven't had a lot of action since, uh, from out of our opening hand. Indy's doing its best, though, huh? Bizarre Baghdad and Indy might, Indy might be sick together. One free Lotus Cobra. Can't do better than that. Hello, Gut. They have a fresh top of the library from Sylvan. Hell yeah, DDB Chels. It is a hopeful day, isn't it? Like Christmas in the middle of spring. Hey, Merlin, 86, things other 37 months there. Chandelier later? <laughs> Not today. No, 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 no. <laughs> How did they have seven mana for Kinnon? What am I missing? Oh, the Mox and the Talisman tap for two because of Kinnon's passive. Thank you, chat. I knew I was missing something. I'm like, what the fuck's wrong with me here? First match of the day. Yeah, let, yesterday's stream trademark. At the end of the stream, too, so it should be easy to find. I was thinking which creature does suicide in, and I was like, wait a minute, <laughs> I have a Lightning Greaves. I 
Oh, she went up. Hey, M. Covino. Thanks for the 35 months. M. Covino says, I'm working now, so I'm watching on mute, but I still had to make sure to get my Caleb sub in. Thanks for being great. You're very welcome, Covino. Is there anything I can weird, anything weird I can do for Covino since he's watching on mute? I could, like, act like I'm putting hot sauce in my eye, just like this. This is, like, just a normal thing to be doing. <laughs> Hello, Fury. We are indeed Cuban again. I'm going to kill a Kinnon, leave him with the X-Drink cream. Is that crazy? Is that crazy talk? No, this is draft, draft one, Scott. We were actually in a good seat to draft a crazy madness deck, but I got to pack one, pick one, a whole breacher, and ran with that. I think we'll get there. I think we'll get there on day one. Bizarre lapped and stuff. People might still be thinking that it's not supported or not good or what have you. I feel like madness is going to be open. Yeah, it's weird. When, when, when people... Um, when people haven't lost to something, it's hard to commit picks to it and stuff, right? Like when Guts first season, it lapped like every single time. People didn't respect it because they hadn't uh, seen it in action. No red mana, but I think it's still a keep, hum. That's a little bit of acceleration, a little bit of card draw, a little bit of mom! Put into a mole on the play. That kind of dicks up my turn two talisman plan, hum. Is the madness tank still played in Legacy? Uh, sort of. It's it's very niche. It can win games, but it's not like tier or anything. Tier four or something, you know. The thing in uh, the thing about legacy is so madness was never like some some um some deck that you would face reliably you would just like see it around every once in a while and the thing about legacy is like people hold on to the decks for a very long time so if someone played it four years ago there's probably still someone playing it today in paper somewhere you know what I mean maybe I should be bobbling them. And the next turn I could lure us and we might bobble. I don't know. Well, that's my second white source for Luris. Very rude thing to do. Ooh. Kind of a fucked up card to have in hand right now. Uh, it used to be very rarely Pathasno Head, but since Modern Horizons started getting printed, it's it's a, it's a lot more common. <laughs> yeah, every time they print a commander deck, right? Yeah, the spirit shield's back. They don't, they can't really attack Goody Film. I think we went. I think we have an inevitability, so I don't want to like get into a spot where we're trading damage back and forth. I think this is gonna eat my mother of runes. I guess I should have activated it first, huh? Give the inspector pro white. I should be cracking that on the end of turn. I 
Fun nice second red source, huh? Cube is indeed back. And then you could be by Bobble with the Luris, but I think what we want to do is clamp the Selfless Spirit. We by the Spirit, draw two cards, right, instead of one. Yes, the boo. That makes me so happy. I bet that was adorable. <laughs> mm. What a good song, huh, Bella Chow? Oh, hey, Smuggler's Copter waited to get the Blightsteel back in the deck, huh? Kind of cute. Speaking of things that are adorable. Cube, you fucking know it. Clamp, 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 clamp. Sure. You're right, Daniel Taktai. Fucking underrated, hum. Yeah. <laughs> I don't uh, blame the concession here. There's not much the Elspeth can do. The broadside would have been sick here, right? And second novice inspector, draw two cards, ping something for three. And then the copter gets in, and. We're just like over here drawing three cards a turn. Really hard to keep up with on their end, hum. I'm gonna run it back. Yeah, Delay Blast, Fireball, and Fury are probably my two best cards in the matchup. But we have other cards that are good too. Smuggler's Copter, Inti, Broadside Bombardiers is probably gonna be sick. Oh, cool. So this hand is a neat example of a mulligan. Good to have those, right? Sure. Bit of mountain here, maybe. Do I dash a dash a van in? I could go turn one talisman novice inspector. I could go turn one ragavan novice. Yeah, I think Dash of Anning, then they play something, then they play out two creatures, then they play another creature. Might have worked better with this Fireball. Kind of feels like I got a Flash Critter here. I trade with my Selfless. We're connecting? What's their hand? Oh, they mauled, I guess. I guess I wasn't supposed to play the Selfless Spirit before attacking. It sure felt like they were going to flash in a creature to block me, though. Yeah, this card's sick as shit. Would have loved to have played that one. Oh, yes, Rack.
yeah, you could uh, firewall there and get in with Ragavan, but this feels better, right? Quite the fast clock we have. They do look like they're in a rough spot. I guess the Relic came in because of Luris. I'm gonna lead on planes in case they strip mine me. Not our best opener so far, but certainly not terrible, huh? Deck is sick. It's uh, playing out well, huh? First finals of the season, first draft of the season. When the drummer's good, the band is good. I think that mostly holds true. There's gotta be exceptions. What about the white stripes? It's a good stomp. Mox off the top would be hot here. Good drummers don't stay in bad bands. Hey, what's up, Schwamberth? We're tinkering for Blightsteel. Let's see if we can drum up an artifact. I think we have like six or seven in the deck. Kind of excited to dash this Death Greeters here. Oh, was it Jess Mirror in the finals? <laughs> I just noticed, just realized. Would you like to take 10? Uh, the Citadel also got cut, Harold. Along with the Storm cards. Good morning, Over Voltage. We're cooking? Oh yeah, we're cooking. Someone's gotta cook. Like, I want to get the staff because that's so much more <laughs> like gut value. Oh, am I just getting twinned? Losing to twin here is a real bummer. It looks like we are not getting twinned. Hey, real Captain Wacky, how's it going? God damn it. We are in fact losing to Dak though. Should have done it, should have sacked it. It's always funny when like the troll line is would have been better. Like we tinkered for staff and just keep on generating with gut. We're in a way better spot there, huh? Just get to win instead of just losing. Hmm. Not a lot of options for us out of the sideboard. I guess I could play this coat. A little bit less debilitating if Dax steals it, huh? Yeah, Blight still has Lightning Greaves in this deck, too. Possible it should still be in. Maybe I want to counter, huh? Because they showed me some twin stuff. 
The issue is our like instant speed removal, our creature removal in red is looking really good too. So we can't really like adjust our colors entirely. Definitely feels like I should have had that one, huh? Fucking dank. Maybe then pester mining, instead of saving it to tap blight steel, was a sign that I should be check sacking the blight steel there. I thought I was going to be drowning with staff this turn, but I think this is slightly better. Bam, bam. A lot of mana sources in a row, huh? <coughs> oh shit, what up? Hey, real monk man, thanks for 50 months, a big 5 0. You'll never inspe uh, accept Novus Inspector as being powerful. I mean, it's just a cantrip, right? We are down a game in the finals, Cody. That's not Pester Might. So for us to interrupt twin combo here, they'd have to like Seeding Song and a Kiki Jiki instead of just having Splinter Twin. Yeah. Twins back, everybody. Aren't we excited? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Bummer. Well, at least I joined in with uh, with QPs. Yay, twin. 